Hello again and welcome back to our channel. Just to recap, in our commercial world, capital is vested in an owner, investors, savers, whose sole objective is to make their capital grow. If a venture grows big and complicated, it will not have just one owner. The ownership will be carved up amongst shareholders. But for our purposes, it matters not. However many owners there may be, owners have but one aim, to grow their capital the asset value of their investment. That investment may not necessarily be of money. It may be an investment of time or personal effort, but the outcome must be growth of the asset value measurable in financial terms. Pounds, dollars, euros, yen and renminbi. Once an investment has reached a certain size, it can no longer be managed for growth by the investors alone. So the investors, capitalists, will employ a manager to grow it. That is the task of the manager, to grow the owner's capital the asset value. And for this service, the manager receives a reward. For growing the asset value, the manager receives a reward. In the city of London and on Wall Street, those rewards can be very considerable. The fictitious Gordon Gecko was an investment manager who was so rewarded for growing investors' assets that he became a big investor himself. But whether you are Gordon or a wage slave, as I have been most of my life, the principle is the same. The objective of the manager, employee or consultant, is to grow the asset value to the benefit of the owner. So where does marketing fit into all this capitalist frenzy? It's not obvious, but marketing fits very well indeed into the capitalist context. Assets, as accountants will tell you, fall into two categories. Tangible assets, things you can touch and feel, such as real estate, machinery, cash, and intangible assets, such as patents, contracts, trademarks, brands. We marketers are not much concerned with tangible assets, but as we learned in Module 1, Marketing in Essence, we are very much concerned with the most important of the intangibles, brands. To remind us yet again, marketing is the toolkit which used to effect creates and builds value and the value resides in a brand. The objective of the marketer is to build, grow intangible asset value, brand value, to the benefit of the owner of the brand. If marketing is not a pillar of the capitalist edifice, then what is? Join us again as we delve into the ways in which a marketer can build value for the owner of business and brand.